Hello, good evening, Internet. Welcome back to Morning Andy Drew. We're looking for, um... Bugs. Bugs. Yes. Critters. Uh, so I think... Let's see. Fallen Tree. We're at this log right here. Mm -hmm. I still don't know where this log is. It simply looks to be somewhere in the middle of the maze, I guess. Yeah. What is that? Uh, noises. Real <laughs> helpful. <laughs> well, what else do you want me to say? I want you to be able to look at it, and that's the same rock. It's the same rock? Are you serious? Yes. Am I going around in circles right now? Yes. Am I going crazy? Maybe. I, I can't really answer that for you. <laughs> Come back! Wait. So there's three, you gotta go get a camera and do Yeah. Uh, so I'm where the yellow bird is, which is over here, I guess. Wait. Which yellow This one. Th okay, this one. Yeah. So I'm actually near the cemetery right now. Check the cemetery. There's probably plenty of worms and bugs and shit in there. I can't see to look underneath anything, though. I, what? But all that grass and everything? There's gotta be plenty of critters running around. Nope. Is there a spider inside the, the cemetery, like... Thing anywhere? I don't see any webs, but I mean. Nope. I'm pretty sure for game mechanic reasons, I have to like specifically look underneath stuff. Okay, so I'm at that tree stump. Look under it. I can't. What? What do you mean? I can't interact with it. Oh. I thought it was a tree stump you can like, zoom in on. Surely there's something like that, right? Uh, that's on the other side of the map. That's that rock again. Okay, so, okay, I know where I am. Are you sure? I think so. Yeah, okay, so here's the yellow ribbon. So forward, forward, nothing here. Ugh. Log. Fallen tree. Okay, so fallen tree. Fallen tree. Did you already? I did. Uh, I can't interact with it. Again, another good spot to look for stuff. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's three out of twelve. Great. I'm telling you, you should probably look under the tarp back at the house. I'm sure there's something over there. Maybe. You can't even look under the shoe. I can't look under the shoe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't get it either. Whatever. Wait, rock. That's the same. What? Rock, How is it the same rock? But the other rock was on the other side of the map! No, you walked back to it! But you the shoe! Your shoe is here! You visited that rock four times! But the shoe is- Then look back under it. Tell me if there's anything there. There wasn't. How was then it? it's the same rock. How? How? How did I end up back all the way over on the other side of the map again? There you go. Uh... Something to your right as well down there? That's that rock. Gonna try to tell me that's the same rock? No, that one was actually a different one. I'm pretty sure. I think I already know I looked under that rock, right? Oh, right. So there's a shoe, okay. Go forward, this way. Wait, rock. That's the same fucking rock. No, it, it's not. It is not. Yes, it is. It's not. Under the same tree. It's... That is the same rock. You've checked it five times now. Log. You can't do anything with that log at all. You can look. Inside of it or whatever. No. <sighs> Lame. That's why you got the one green looking critter thing, right? You've already checked that one. No. no. These just look the same. Oh, that's. Can I look at this one? Yeah, here we go. Did, did you already check that one? Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, because to the left of the other rock next to the tree that you got another one, right? Yeah, but these rocks, they look the same, but they aren't the same. Oh, they literally just copy pasted the same rocks over and over? Yeah. Oh, well then my apologies. I guess you didn't. Well, Lil, you did check under that same rock like five times. I'm pretty sure it was a different rock sometimes. Then how come we didn't get two different critters? We only got the one. Because sometimes there's nothing under the rocks. It's kind of a weird noise. 
Yeah. Okay, there's the shoe. Okay, this is where the three rocks are. Okay, that's the entrance. Okay, this is the rock that I first opened. Okay, and where is that at? At the beginning. Okay. It's, it's like right here. Okay. So, go back. I, look, I don't think I looked under this log. Okay, uh, I looked under both logs, I guess. I'm still confused as to what that's supposed to be. It sounds like someone trying to start something and it's not properly kicking off, or... I don't know, beaver? I don't know what a fucking beaver sounds like. <laughs> Makes me think of maybe like a crocodile, but I don't think there's any crocodiles around Moon Lake. Maybe I have to come back at night sometimes? I mean, that would make sense. Because I feel like some of these there's rocks like, didn't have anything. Like, there's like a nightcrawler worm or something like that that you can get, I think. I remember that being kind of a thing. Maybe. Uh, there's certain spiders that are nocturnal and whatnot too, so maybe that. Crickets! Crickets! There you go. Yeah. Okay, this is the yellow ribbon. So okay. this should be a dead end. It is. Okay. So I'm just gonna leave. Oh, gloves. Nice. I don't remember those being there before, but okay. Wait, I thought you said you had gloves. I thought I did. I guess I didn't. Weird. Well, let's save. On bird watching, I figured you just did something else. Eh. I'm still looking for bugs for bird watching purposes. So I can get the camouflage. What? Wait, what? what? I don't remember that being there. You just randomly picked up another wow. stick? Yeah. That's definitely cricket. There's gotta be something about right? Yeah. Hey! A glow worm? That's a. I think that's a grub, actually. I don't think they're nocturnal, though. Weird. I figured they just kind of. Okay. The glow worm, as far as I know, is like a worm, but it's slightly like bioluminescent. Very, very slightly. It doesn't actually glow, I don't think. It's just a really like strange color. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are grubs. Yeah. So I'm gonna I hear chirping of like crickets. Where are said crickets though? I don't know. It's empty! <laughs> dun dun dun! Not seeing any crickets anywhere. So. You know, for being ghost stories in one night, there seems to be a lot less of 
Just dogs and a lot more. <laughs> everything else. Yeah. We, we encountered them once, and they didn't even attack me. They, they ran up, sniffed at the window, they howled a little bit, barked, and bumped the door a few times and ran off. Pretty much. I'm sure the after your freaking friend or whatever showed up because it was doing some shit with people burns around their things. Yeah. Hey Nancy, how's the bait finding coming along? Right. Twelve big, fat, juicy ones, just like you wanted. Well now, you done all right for a city gal. Here you go. Hope whatever you're hiding from won't catch you. <laughs> How you holding up? Any word from Tucker what's-his-name? He hasn't been by to move that tree yet. I'll give him another call. But like I said, the man marches to the beat of another drummer. A very slow drummer. Guess I'll see you later. Oh, boy. Always a pleasure. It's going to be in one of those plot convenient things where he just so happens to show up right after we're already done. Right. Because, of course, he goes into his own case and everybody just is supposed to be in his own And since it's been another day, I wonder if the water's been tested yet. Ranger Rick, you got anything for us? I didn't need to go in there. Where the hell? You're back. Have you gotten the results back from that water sample I left with you? I meant to call the Department of Health today for a status report, but frankly, I've been way too busy. Wow. Sounds like Moon Lake could use two rangers. If I were in charge of just ten more acres of parkland, they'd give me an assistant, and I could devote more time to the acquisition of more land and eventually put Moon Lake on the map as one of the biggest, most popular parks in the state. Uh, why didn't the parks department buy the Malone property instead of Sally? Or maybe the ghost eggs are a blessing in disguise. Hmm. Why didn't the Parks Department buy the Malone property instead of Sally? She outbid them, the cheapskates. Well, if those dogs scare Sally away for good, other people are bound to think twice about buying the place. The bank will lower its price, and you'll have your land. You're insinuating things again, Miss Drew. Uh, I'm sorry, I really am. That's just that Sally's my friend, and I really like to find why someone's doing this to her. Or, I didn't mean to insult you. In fact, is there anything I can do to help you out? I didn't, mean to insult you, Ranger. I didn't mean to insult you. In fact, is there anything I can do to help you out? Tell you what, if you're serious about making amends, there's some boxes by the computer labeled with dates. They're from the estate of a local history buff. She kept everything from newspaper clippings to old photos to recipes for apple crisp. She put everything in envelopes, then numbered them by year using Roman numerals. Just put the envelopes in order by year with the earliest date in front. Oh, and if you're rusty on Roman numerals, there's an entry on them in the computer. Uh, is it okay if I read what's in the envelope? Or I don't want to get distracted. Apple Chris sounds good right now. <laughs> okay if I read what's in the envelopes? Don't go reading anything until you're through. Or take my word for it, you'll never get finished. I've been trying to take pictures of birds for this guy named Red Knot. Ever met him? Oh, yes. The Birdman. I'd stay away from him if I were you. Why? Is something wrong with him? He's a fanatic. He's got it in his head that Moon Lake would be the best bird-watching venue in the world except for one thing. Too many people. Believe me, if there was a way to get this park shut down and all the homes on the lake torn down, he'd do it in an instant. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Also, there's a dog here that wasn't here before. <laughs> okay. Why can't we have the dog? You're back. I noticed you have a dog. That's Yogi, who never goes out unless he's on a leash. Park rules. I couldn't help but notice that he's about the same size as those ghost dogs were. I hope you're not suggesting I trained Yogi to run around in the middle of the night barking and attacking houses. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. There's something else I could ask you're you. You're back. But I Thanks for I all your help. Nope. That's why I'm here. Okay, well, uh, I was hoping I could select all of those, but I guess not. Well, at least I can take the pictures. Okay. Back into the maze, again. Alright, time to run around with like a chicken with its head cut off. Ha, that's a type of bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, Johnny. 
take a picture of yourself. Jeez. Okay. With your head cut off. Bum bum ba. Actually, technically, I that picture from before that the 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 one of me of a ghost technically could count for that. I, it, 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 yes. Put your camera gear on. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Yay. Okay. And the other two, I guess. Well, I only know where one of them is, and that's the yellow bird. I still don't know about the hawk. I guess that's even the. Is that the one that I take a picture of, or maybe it's like this? That's what the bird call was. Fair. Here's the shoe. That one's gonna have to be somewhere like in the early morning, like you said. But I don't know well, we can't really change the time of day. Yeah. We can only choose AM or PM. We don't even really know what time of day it is. Just AM at some point. Yeah. Okay. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Oh, we're this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. We don't have like a watch or anything that tells us what time it is either, or day or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, usually there is one like around here, but not this time. Wait a minute, shouldn't I be. Is there one under PDA? Is there a clock of some sort? No. What? <laughs> Again, an owl during the day. There we go. Which I don't know where it is though. Yeah. Here we got yellow bird, orange bird, yellow bird, red bird, blue bird. That's all five. And there's not like a six one down near the dead end anywhere on that bottom right corner. No? Okay. Hmm. Well. I don't know where the hearts would be, honestly. Yeah, I don't either. I've gotten pretty good at navigating that maze. Sort of. So let's see. I can't really think of anything else to do other than turn the pictures in if I have them all. Which I don't, so But I mean I don't know where the last one would be, so Yeah. So let's try it. Uh, is there anything else we need to do before we sleep? Not that I can really think of. I need the pictures of the birds. And... Does our PDA give us any other clues? Uh Find the found birds. Check with Red about the last one. Red tailed hawk. I, okay. um, so I do have to just talk to him. Alright. What else? Or is that it? Well, there's more, but it's just stuff we like, listing what we've done. Uh, Alright, uh... Yeah. Excuse me. Hmm. So... We don't have any other useful items in our inventory. We also have those random logs that we just seem to pick up out of nowhere. I actually said that, yeah, instead of PM. But yeah, I don't know what those logs are about. I'm sure they'll come in handy later, probably. Also, since we... It's night, shouldn't there be another attack from the house tonight? Uh, you would think, but so far we haven't had any issues. Maybe it's only Sally there after. How's the bird watching coming along? I just can't seem to find a red-tailed hawk. Any suggestions? Well, there's gotta be lots around here. You haven't been going around wearing sunglasses and earmuffs, have you? No, Red, I haven't. Well, according to my bird map, they like to nest in the big tree that's just to the southwest of the Malone house. I suggest you park yourself nearby and wait. Bound to spot one sooner or later. Uh, the big tree? South of the Malone house, right? Yes. See you in a while. Shh, down a notch. Remember. Sorry. So south is this way. Nick. Oh, he's talking about... <laughs> yeah, just... I know, I know, I'm messing with you. He's talking about the, uh, the stump. Or, not the stump, but the... The pillar. Isn't that where you cut his observation post at? Is the tree south of the house? Because we're... Uh... Right? And he's south of... I think he's... Hmm. Maybe? Well, let's see. 
Was in here to the south of the house? Maybe. Because uh, north is behind the house, right? And no, north is uh, to the left. West is... So is west into the maze? Mm. From the house. Uh, no, east. Okay. So you go east from the house out back into the maze, right? Yes. Okay. So south would be going this way. Toward the lake? Toward the lake, yeah. Well, I don't see any hawks, oh. but this is probably the tree Red was talking about. At least it was the tree. That sounded like a hawk. Wow, really? Where? I need a camera. There it is. I better get a picture before it takes off. Okay. Land it on your house? I guess. That's a little unusual, but cool. Well, we got it. Hey, what is that hawk standing on? A speaker? Oh, that looks like a speaker. Mm. Uh... Huh? Uh... What? I better get out of here! <gasps> Our oh, hands and legs are tied. Yeah, I legs. can't move. What? At least I can kick. If I could just get that scythe down, I could use the blade to cut the rope around my wrists and free my hands. Uh, okay, well, kick the... Are you kidding me? What is this? Do you just have to keep kicking and kicking until it's finally... Mm, good. What? Oh, oh, it's one of these. Rube Goldberg machine. Somehow that worked. And it didn't cut you in the face. I oh, can't just let this thing burn up. I've got to put it out. Oh, I, I need a bucket. <laughs> I need a bucket. I need a bucket. I need a bucket. Also, what happened to start the... I'm so confused. Someone didn't like the fact that we found the speaker, so they decided to knock it out and set it on fire. The house or the shed? The shed. Okay. Uh, uh did I take you on? Stinky. I tried. I, I guess it took too long to actually free yourself. I can't yourself, just but... let this thing burn up. I've got to put it out. I think I just took too long. Fuck it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying, I'm trying. I know, not you at the game. Come on. Fuck it. Okay. Where? There it is. Come on. What in blazes happened? I saw the fire from my platform and came running. You weren't in there playing with matches, were you? I was looking at birds, and then I noticed something on the house, and the next thing I knew I was locked in the tool shed and somebody was setting it on fire. I don't think you were locked Whoa, in. you're not making much sense. Probably smoke inhalation or something. Come talk to me after you've cleaned yourself up and gotten some sleep. I need to tell you something. Somebody tried to kill you? I didn't say that. Somebody knocked you out. Locked you in a shed, set it on fire, you and in. you the think they were you what, just pulling right, a prank? You were just tied up. Wake up and smell the hostile vibes, Nancy. I guess it's just hard for me to believe that anybody would consider me to be that big a threat. I should have never let you stay there by yourself. Sally, I'm fine. I feel bad about your tool Wait, shed. Wait, are you talking about Sally this whole time? Was Who that cares best before about the shed? It was full of junk. Uh, I guess anyway, it's been I'm glad Sally. to be rid of it. That's hmm. kind of the way Ranger Akers saw it, too. He showed up right after the bird watcher did and ticketed me for burning refuse in a manner that endangered park property. Oh, that man is insufferable! Wait, he ticketed Emily you for was burning nice, the though. shed? She I came guess. by right afterwards, afterwards and wouldn't fire, leave until I drank the tea she made for me. Look, Nancy, one more time. If you want to leave, just say the word and I'll come get you. Sally, one more time. I'm fine. Well, then promise me you'll be careful, okay? I promise. I'll be in touch. You better. Can we call Bess while we're there? I mean, we can. I'm very confused. Somebody had to be nearby watching us during the day for us to get the picture of the hawk to notice that 
We saw it standing on the speaker at the house. And that bird watcher was Hello? conveniently yes, it's Nancy. close by. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I saw the smoke from my observation post in the Moon day when he's gorgeous, normally not around. It's so right. remote. The park ranger is the closest thing they have to a sheriff around here. Park ranger? What's he like? Which, as we all know, is Bess's way of saying, Park ranger? Is he cute? Not true, George. Nancy thinks everybody's cute, so what would be the point? Anyway, Nancy, you were saying? Well, he seems like an okay guy, but frankly, nobody around here seems to like him very much. Why is that? He takes his job very seriously, which tends to rub some people the wrong way. Did you tell him about the ghost dogs? He thinks they're just plain old dogs that for some reason like to run around at night scaring people. And what does Detective Drew think about the dogs? I think Sally had good reason to be scared of them. I don't blame her for leaving, which leads me to think that maybe that was the whole idea. Somebody had those dogs attack Sally in order to scare her away? Why would anybody do that? She was there for less than a month. You'd have to be a total creep to make enemies that fast. And Sally's one of the nicest people I know. Ooh, Nancy! Speaking of cute guys, Frank and Joe Hardy called. I filled them in on where you are and what you're doing, and they're dying to hear from you. The Hardy brothers? Great. I guess. Did they leave a number? Their number is 280-555-4865. Best didn't recognize it when they called and almost didn't answer the phone. Good thing my cousin here has a memory like an elephant, huh? What's that supposed to mean? Call them, Nancy. They're dying to hear from you. But remember, Frank's cute and all that, but George and I want to hear from you, too. Yeah, no fair discussing the case with them from now on and not with us. Promise you'll keep us up to speed? <laughs> I promise. This bird watcher I met has got me taking pictures of birds for some survey he's doing. He's a bit of a grump. Does he live nearby? No, he just kind of hangs out in the woods. In fact, I only see him at night. Interesting. He's in the woods at night. The dogs are in the woods at night. Could he have had a reason for wanting Sally out of the Malone house? Maybe. From what Ranger Akers told me, Red would like everybody around here out of their houses. He thinks there's too many people at Moon Lake, and it's ruining the bird watching. Ranger Akers called him a fanatic. Fanatic equals suspect in my book. Get this. It turns out that Jeff Akers will be one happy park ranger if Sally sells her Moon Lake property back to the bank, and they wind up selling it to the parks department. You think he might be responsible for all this ghost dog stuff? He has a motive and he has a dog, although it doesn't look at all like the dogs that have been scaring Sally. But it shows he knows something about my dogs. Boy. Better pull out your suspect list and pencil Real him in, man. I still think you guys should lighten up on him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you spooked by the ghost dogs at Moon Lake? Did I mention that all yeah. the water in Sally's yeah. house comes from a well? Goodness. Ew, really? Does it taste like rotten eggs? Not all well water tastes like rotten eggs, Bess. I don't know if it does or not. Because the well is so old, I need to get the water tested before I drink it. Good plan. Nothing will wreck your day faster than a nice tall glass of contaminated water. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Why don't you see what's up with those rotten floorboards in the living room? Okay. Bye, you guys. Don't be a stranger. Take um, care. But we fell through them, remember? Right. Are you going to call the Hardy Bros? Why not? Okay. Hey, Hardy Boys from other, like, detective series I've never heard of. Right. You got a hint for me? Hello? Hey, Joe. It's Nancy. Nancy, how's it going? Uh, no, wait, don't answer that. Talk about the weather or something. The weather? Yeah, that'll give me time to grab the other phone and take it outside. Frank's washing the car. He'll kill me if he misses anything. Uh, here, wait a sec. <laughs> take a break, it's Nancy. Hang on, he's putting the hose down. He's drying his hands. He's walking over. Nancy, hi. What's up? Bess and George say you've got another mystery on your hands. So this is or should we Frank say, on your paws. Yes. They told you about the dogs? We made them tell us everything. Pumped them dry. As you may have guessed, we're not exactly rolling in detective work here. So you're living vicariously through me. It's not the first time, sad to say. What conclusions have you reached so far, detective? If nothing else, those ghost dogs are very well trained. I'm watching to see who owns and or trains dogs around here. Good plan. But don't forget, a really smart perpetrator is going to make it look like he or she has no connection to dogs whatsoever. But then a really, really smart perp might have dogs all over the place and not bother to hide it because he or she would figure you'd never suspect anyone so obvious. <laughs> Emily Griffin doesn't seem to have any dogs. Uh-oh. Move her up on your suspect list. I'd move her down. You know, Joe, something tells me we're not helping. I'm convinced that someone <laughs> is using those ghost dogs to scare Sally into abandoning Malone's house. If I can just figure out why, I might be able to figure out who. Never hurts to look for motive. 
Malone and his four dogs are supposedly buried in a little cemetery near the house. They've all got headstones inscribed with when they were born and when they died. That's interesting. Did Malone have family? Not that I'm aware of. Then who had the tombstones inscribed? Hmm, good question. I don't know, but it had to be someone who had access to Malone's house and property after he died. Sounds like this latest puzzle of yours is still Those missing. Files at the few ranger pieces. station. Yeah, I think they seem to, do to that. be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? We can probably come up with a few, but we're not going to make it easy for you. After all, it's your case, not ours. Have you tried fixing the floor in the living room yet? Later, guys. Watch How out for dogs. How did know about that? Just we didn't even mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess Bess and George must have said something when we talked to them about it. Well, they we didn't mention it to them either, and they still. Well, they knew. Me. So I mean, we must have mentioned it at some point, like in the phone call. I guess. I don't know. At some point. Yeah. Floorboards. Floorboards. Because, you know, what's a Nancy Drew game without a little bit of DIY, right? So, I have planks, but I guess I can How many? use three, I well, think. Well, I guess. Okay. Um, I, I guess that... Hammer nails? Well, I... Is that... What does that say? Uh, floor... Rod, floorboard, water step. I... D wow. Well, I fixed it. Here I am, standing on the floorboards. Great. All for that little note that was not helpful. Wait, well, go back to the note. There was like a red spot you could like interact with. It looked like. Uh, is, is that it? Is nothing else? I. No. Okay. Never mind. I found that out there was something else you could do. Uh, yeah. What? What is the point of fixing that? I mean, cool. I won't die now, but is that really it? It's another chore you completed for Sally, I guess. Sort of. half ass at least until she can get a better solution fixed. Okay. Cool, I guess. Yeah. Go back to the tool shed. Is there anything salvageable in there? Well, let's find out. It's so all like, on fire and everything. It's probably not safe to go in there. Uh, I'm gonna take that as a no. Well. Thank you. Maybe so. Well, I'll just talk to you both you can see. As always with these sorts of games. Yeah. How you holding up? Guess I'll see you later. Always a pleasure. Okay. You were useless to me. Wow. This is my <laughs> Yes. Always with Nancy Drew, too. Melly was mentioning that to me, that it, it seems to be specifically Nancy Drew that she gets the noisiest. Hmm. That's kind of funny, actually. Yeah. You're back. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? There's something here for you from the State Department of Health. Oh. Do not drink or use this water from your well. Initial oh my test gosh, not only is the water bad, arsenic. but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. Oh. Wait, arsenic? Arsenic. Uh, yeah. Huh. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well. Jeez. Unusual tra mm -hmm. trace amounts of arsenic in wells in your area exceed the standard safety limits. Let's see for any purpose. Two weeks to complete, you will be informed to what, if anything, they uncover. They Nancy seems to think that it's been poisoned deliberately. Uh, well, I wouldn't go with it being jump arsenic, into conclusions with that. Yeah, that's yeah. not exactly a naturally I'm occurring... sure there's a far less melodramatic explanation. Where's Yogi? In the run, out back. Even out of sight, he's under my full control, as park rules require. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Hmm. What's his explanation for the arsenic in the water? He says there's probably a reasonable explanation. Let's see. Jeff said the envelope for the arsenic date goes down in, in the, the front water. of each box. Yeah. That's not a. Whatever. All right. So we... why are the label with Roman numerals? That's like the most. Whatever. Okay. Okay. 1900 to 1912. Well, that would be. MXI, wouldn't it? Right? Because M for a thousand. There is no MXI here, though. 
I'm going to be IX, maybe? M I X because it'd be 9 plus 1 plus 5. Right? Uh... Do I have the... It's on the computer, next to you. Yeah. Um... That's not it. Health and safety tips? No. Uh, History. Creation. What are we doing? It's okay. I is 1, V is 5. We know those. Okay, uh, so this MCM XXX IX is nineteen thirty nine. Nineteen thirty nine, which so, is M C so M C M? MCM XXX IX. Okay, so MCM which would be probably nineteen hundred and then the XXX something. XXX IX. So yeah, three X because X is ten, right? So three X's. Yeah. And then nine. Yeah, okay, okay, I got it now. So... Okay, so they all start with MCM, that makes it easy. Which means this is... 1900, right? That, that this MCM would just be 1900, right? Yeah, because there's no other numerals or anything. Yeah. So, MC and X would be 1910. BC, MCM... Right there. Ah. By the way, I moved slightly so I'm right here behind Nick to be able to see these things to help him. Uh, well, XI, I'm assuming, would be 11. Uh, and then XII would be 13? Yeah, they're probably up there. Uh, is it one with just two eyes or no? Doesn't look like it, but this one is XIX. That's uh, that's 19. Yes. So that would probably be there, where it already is. That's 14, I think. So that might go up a little bit behind the 13. Why this one? Yeah. Uh, there's XXXII. Well, that's six. So yeah. Uh. Wait, that one I don't think goes in the right spot. Well, obviously, we haven't, we haven't moved that one yet. L is, what, 50? L is 50, I think. Okay. No, D is... D. Wait. No, D is 500. Oh, yeah, you're right. So yeah, L is 50. Okay, well, that goes in the far slot over there somewhere. Yeah. Right, let's just move all the L's to this one and sort them later. Oh, that one's also good now. Oh shit. Uh, oh wait, all these are fast. Hmm. L, X, X. Wait, would that be like 30? Uh. No, right? Because the L would mean that it would go up to 50, and then two after that would be 70, right? Uh. It's hard to tell when it's supposed to subtract and when it's not. But I don't think it subtracts unless it's like an I or a small number in front of the, uh... You just looked it up, didn't you? Yep. Yeah. Alright, so what did we get wrong? Apparently... Yeah? Wait, is this the correct order? Now that they're all sorted, okay. I can do some reading. Well, start with the first one, I guess. And... Uh, I literally cannot. I only can look at it specific view. 
dragging band is a drag. Okay. Is that Emily talking about how she's upset she can't get antiques from the lake anymore? Yeah, pretty much. Alright. Septics Roadshow. Yeah, because that's what I want to do. I'm going to go look at a bunch of golden toilets. Right. Water uh, tanks. Okay. Looks so, like, yeah, okay. Malone died yesterday of liver failure as federal penalty at the, in the federal penitentiary at Leavenworth, Kansas at the age of 52. He was, in a, he was a gangster, apparently. That's a long shot from Philadelphia. Whoops. Wait, hold on. I just want to do it. The idea of the game, Simone kept a relatively low profile. His desire for privacy was enforced by four large dogs who never left his side. While he was rumored to be involved in everything from run, rum, rum rugging, running in gold heists, he never spent a single night in jail until he was arrested in 1932 for tax evasion. <laughs> Jeez. That's a miniature Al Capone kind of thing. I guess so. Gangster Nav yeah, and the Lake Residence. Okay. There's a sign of the rest. What happened to the dogs? Who's that? Uh, Agent Waldo Mathias. Oh, Waldo Mathias. He's buried here too? I guess so. Huh. What happened to him? I don't know. Things are about to become the next human resident. Okay. Is that it? Yeah. Oh. Well, I guess now we know a little more about Malone. I finished putting yeah. all those envelopes in order. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Drew. And to show my gratitude, I've got something for you. It doesn't involve Roman numerals, does it? No, it's an honorary Junior Park Ranger pin. <laughs> I keep them on hand so I can give them out to children whom I see demonstrating respect for park rules and regulations. A little bit of positive reinforcement. Unfortunately, I don't get to give them out that often. Oh, gee, thanks, Ranger Acres. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Well, Nancy, I think that's the most, like, upset I've ever heard you sound. Right. Cool, though. I, 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 Wait a, a second. Go back in. Wasn't that park ranger skunk thing facing the other direction last time we were here? No. Uh, it's facing the other direction on the computer. Or wherever. Oh, oh I never oh, looked at this. Neat. Oh, we can't even do anything with it, but cool. Some stuff. Yeah. Uh. Now what? Well, what's in their inventory? We still have that hammer, we got the PDA, we got the bucket, we got the gas mask and gloves, we got the uh, screwdriver, the bottle of water, flashlight, whatever that is. We got the spark plug? No, it's a pen. 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 Are we supposed to be using them on some of these notes or something? Uh, uh done, maybe? Stretching them out? I think it's just what I've been using to mark my map on my birds. Speaking of, we still need nice junior park ranger. Pin. Oh yeah, we need to get those pictures back really to him. Really be on Acres' good side. Guess I'll see you later. Yeah, we need to give him Yola the he pictures. How you holding yeah, up? Guess I'll see okay. you later. You betcha. I guess sleep until night, man. We'll talk to the guy. Unless we get attacked by ghost dogs again. Ooh. <laughs> they clearly have yellow eyes, but they obviously go glow green in the game. Yeah. Like, it, it's just funny. It is. Also, they look nowhere near as spooky as the dogs in the little, like, thumbnail art thing there on the Steam page. Right. Seriously, check them out. They actually look like genuine, like, ghost dogs. It's kind of cool. Reminds me in a weird way of, like, the, the hellhounds from Call of Duty Zombies. Save... Uh, Four words, I guess. Yeah. Should have saved a new one called a Junior Ranger. <laughs> oh well. Maybe that'll be the next one. Psst, hey, buddy. I got to get pictures. Also, you said you need to talk. Hello to me. there. I owe you an apology. After you came up here looking for those red tails, I gave my map a closer look and realized it was more than fifty years old. 
reason you can't find them is probably because their favorite nesting tree is gone. Finding that hawk's gonna be harder than I thought, so why don't you just give me back my camera and I'll take it from here. It didn't get burned up in that fire or anything, did it? You'll be happy to know that I did get a picture of a red-tailed hawk. So here's your camera back. I got all the birds. Thank you, Nancy. Nice work. You're a credit to your generation. Where did those gas cans come from? I ran out of gas. So much for being prepared, huh? Well, that's all I wanted to tell you. I'm sure you've got places to go, things to see, people to pester. That's suspicious. See you in a while. Did you have gas there as observation platform? Remember. He sure does. Mm. Howdy. See you in a while. Shh. Down a notch. Remember. Mm. 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 Can we actually look at those speakers that Nancy found? It's on top of the house, isn't it? Yeah, I can't seem to look up. Maybe gotta do it during the day or something? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know what we're supposed to do now. Like, we fixed the floorboards, we yeah. talked to the ranger, got the water sample, there's arsenic in the water, we gave the camera back with the pictures of the birds, he's got gas cans up there, which is really suspicious, but, I mean, maybe he did just genuinely run out of gas and needed it for his boat. There's a ladder. Can I climb the ladder? <sighs> Interesting. Well, can you up further, or is that it? Uh... It looks like a bit, but there's something here. What is that? It's a... It looks like something used to be there, like a like a handle or something. The speaker? Oh, that's where the speaker used to be. It looks like it's gone now. Oh. Uh, can't yeah, That's all I can do. Hmm. What's your PDA say, if anything? So I'll speak on the roof of before the fire. It was gone when I looked at it later. I guess it's that. So... Yeah, I can't be gone. Okay. Well, I mean... He did say he was out of gas for his boat, so... Let's call some people. Let's start with Sally. Alright. And then Bess and George, and then I guess, uh... The Hardy Bros? Yeah. Are the Hardy Bros or Hardy Boys? Hardy... Hello? Hey Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? I'm afraid I have some bad news. I had your well water tested, and according to the health department, it contains a very high level of arsenic. Arsenic? Somebody poisoned my well? Um, let's see, am I up to Maybe, maybe not. The health department is running some more tests. When you brought bought the house, did anyone mention a problem with the well? Or, the health department can't say for sure yet, but it, if that is the case, do you have any idea who might do a thing like that? problem with the well? Maybe. maybe, maybe not. The health department is running more tests. When you bought the Who's house, the did family? anyone mention no. a problem with the well? No. no. The lowest? And it doesn't matter. I love that house and I yeah. am going to live in it. If that well's bad, I'll just take this another one. Three three. At least I will when I know for sure why bad things keep happening there. You are going to figure that out, right, Nancy? You bet I am. I knew I could count on you. Talk to you later. Keep me posted. It's starting to get a little hot in here as well. It's not that hot yet, but yet. Yeah. You're a wimp when it comes to heat. Well, screw you. I mean, I don't mind just sitting here in my underwear, but you don't want me to take my pants off of something. Hello? So. Bess, it's Nancy. Hey, I know yeah. Bess. What's going on? I think yeah, somebody may have deliberately put poison down Sally's well. Yikes! What makes you think that? The Department of Health found unusually high levels of arsenic in the water sample I sent them. Somebody's trying to poison you with arsenic? They said that? Uh, it's really not unusual to find some arsenic in a well water. Or, or they aren't sure, but they're running more tests. They're running more they tests. They weren't sure. They were going to run some more tests. So somebody could be trying to poison you, but you don't know for sure. Right. And they may not be trying to poison anybody. They may want to contaminate the well just enough to force Sally to either go to the expense of digging a new one, or forget the whole thing and leave. And because arsenic is found naturally in well water anyway, you may never know for sure. Bummer. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. I'm fresh out. How about you, George? Ditto. Maybe we should let the brothers Hardy pull hint duty on this one. Bye, you guys. Ta-ta. Ciao for now. 
All right. Well, hardy boys it is. I mean, yeah, I guess arsenic is found naturally in some, like, well, waters, but they said it was unusually high levels of arsenic. Yeah. Like, making it unsafe to Hello? drink. Hi, like, Frank. Among, hey, like, Nancy. Hey, know. Joe. Pick up the phone. Joe's in the kitchen. Worked up a real appetite watching me vacuum out the car. Hello? Hi, Joe. It's Nancy. What are you eating? Sandwich. Either roast beef or really old turkey. Can't tell. Don't care. So how's life as a dog catcher? I seem to be getting nowhere fast. Anybody have any suggestions? Be sure to notice what shows up behind each dog in the clock after you turn one of the dogs in the cabinet. Oh. Psychologists call it feedback. The trick is to turn each dog in the right direction. But until you figure out what the right direction for each dog is, I guess you will have pretty much hit the wall. Later, guys. Watch out okay. for dogs. Just watch out, period. Wait, wasn't there something else you could click on, or was that... That was it. Wow. So, what so, did they say about the dogs in the cabinet? So, apparently turning these dogs uh -huh. also turns what the picture behind the dogs in the clock is. <laughs> so, that has... Uh, looks like sheep? Sheep? Or rams or something? I don't know. Okay. That has the same thing. Probably because they're all facing forward. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. Wait, it changes whenever they bark. Yes, yeah, so? yeah, but it, they all display the same thing after the bark. Oh, okay. It looked like it was different colors or something. Uh, so it probably has something to do with this poem. So, you need... So... So having them facing the different directions was kind of the key. Okay, so leaves appear in fresh spring. Make my birth different than the other. Okay, spring, uh, summer, autumn, winter. Yes. Yeah. So I guess turn the dogs in the cabinet back each different direction. Check on the clock and see which one Papa looks like. Well, forward we know they have what spring. I guess is sheep. I, I guess. Let's find out. Yeah, that's, uh, whatever that was. Okay, that's... Summer. So is the third dog, I guess, supposed to be the, uh... Okay. What, what was that? That was Summer. That was the Green Trees. Which I'm guessing is Summer? As opposed to the Sheep, I guess, so... Alright. Let's turn them all their directions to see just... First one, facing forward, has the sheep. The second one, facing. That's the third one. This is the third one. Yeah. Okay, so that those are doves. Uh, uh, maybe winter. Well, are you sure they're doves or is it like snow? And it was blue and it had birds. Those are swans. Swans. Oh, well, it's bird season things. All right, well. I'm gonna have to go back to the ranger station and look up the bird things and see what birds come out of what time of the year. Or... Or you could just cheat and Google it, I guess. Which, I guess, is the same thing, just not in the context of the indie universe. <laughs> the Druniverse? The Nancy Druniverse! <laughs> Stupid. Love it. I'm gonna call it that one. Jeez. What? What? Druniverse. Yeah. Silly. Yeah, you got a problem with it? I got a problem with your face. I got a problem with your mom. I got a problem with your dick. I got a problem with your ass. Make it sound like we do stuff that we don't. <laughs> what, did you just Google what the mother that was just supposed to face? Yeah. Interesting. I don't think you're doing What? Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, before I do that, there's a secret door in the. What? I want to save first. Uh, save. Floorboards. I would have saved it though for a dollar for a one to the secret door, because that's. Well, technically it's relating to the floorboards, because that's. I had to put the floorboards there in order to access it. Yeah, I, I guess. Why? Anyway. The cuckoo clock thing didn't make any noise, which is confusing. What's uh, that? Car? Like, <laughs> Okay. I, I took it. Make sure. Stairs back up or down? Huh? 
Why is it lights in here? I don't know. Squeak, squeak. Uh-oh. <gasps> Mice, put your gloves on. How? Uh, where are they? I don't know. Alright, I guess I'm over there too much. William Akers? I wonder if he's related to Jeff Akers. Probably. But... Thoughts on Thuggery by uh, Ethan Fowler, the truth about Mickey Malone, as told by his most trusted employer, William Akers. Mr. Malone has never spent a night in jail, and he will never will, said William Akers. And you know Wait, why. wait, wait, wait. William Akers is... Uh, wacky of Malone? I guess so. Huh. Maybe that's why Jeff takes his job so seriously, because his granddad or whatever was, like, not a good guy. Maybe. Maybe you burned down a house or something in the forest. Well, at least I have access to this now. Weird that it comes in from the house like that. Wait. It seems to be anything with the mice. Oh well. Uh, I guess let's talk to him, right? Yeah, and also get the whole piece of stuff so that he can see what he's doing. Hey, dude. I feel like we're close to the end. What do you think? I don't know. Hard to tell. Yeah. Like, yeah. there could be like a whole other like, act thing we had no idea about, or we could actually be genuinely kind of close to figuring this out. Hi, Yogi. You're back. I found a newspaper you're dating back to 1927 in Sally's house. Since you're kind of an expert on the history of Moon Lake, do you mind if I ask you some questions about Mickey Malone? Not at all. So... What are your... The article mentioned that a man named William Akers used to work for Malone. Is he a relative of yours? No. Quite a coincidence, I'll admit, but no. I am in no way related to the head flunky of some two-bit gangster and his gang of thugs. I found this old picture in Sally's house. Do you know who these people are? The man is Mickey Malone, I know that. I'm guessing that this is his girlfriend, Vivian Burnett, I think her name was. And judging by the year of that brand new Ford in the background, I'd say the picture was taken in 1928. She was probably familiar with Malone's house and his dogs, as he was. Think there's any chance he's still alive? Or, what would the best way for me to find out who was living in the Moon Lake in, in 1928 and where they ended up? Second one, because I What would be the best way alive. for me to this find out who was living in Moon Lake in 1928 and where they ended up? Tell you what, Mr. Yeah. Why don't I go through my files and see what I can dig up on this mystery woman? I'm a busy man, but like I always say, I'm here to serve. What happened to Akers and the rest of Malone's gang after he went to prison? <laughs> Fortunately for Moon Lake, they all left and went their separate ways. When and why was Malone arrested? I'm sorry, Ms. Drew. As usual, I'm a little pressed for time. If you have more questions, why don't you sit down at the computer and peruse the Moon Lake database of fascinating factoids that I've put together? Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. Well, we already found out it was for a tax evasion anyway, so... Right, 1930-something, I think? Yeah. 39, Uh... How you holding up? I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an article on Mickey Malone. It really got my curiosity going. What else can you tell me about him? Person you should talk to is Jeff Akers. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. How do I get to the museum? Just up late from Sally's on the east side. Guess I'll see you later. Yo, right, Check out stuff at the museum. But I already looked at everything in the knowledge. I already looked at all that stuff. <laughs> Alright, do you think we should end the episode? Do you think we got enough for another episode, I guess? I didn't think, because I mean, I don't know, I'm kind of stumped at the moment. Because like you said, we have looked at pretty much everything. Yeah, alright, well... The only thing I think of is trying to deal with the mice in the basement or whatever. But I don't even know how I... It won't let me look down or anything. Yeah. Are they in the furnace thing down there? I, I can't click on the furnace. Oh. Well, anyway, next episode. Bye. Bye.